Welcome back to Conversations with Kendall. I am your host, Kendall Ficklin, and this is the Parents Edition. So the purpose of this conversation is to share some ideas, some questions, some information with parents for parents. And so what we're going to be doing is I'll be, I get questions in all the time from different mothers or parents that I've worked with throughout the country or, or on social media. So we'll get questions in, we'll answer questions, and then you know we'll talk about it and share some ideas and some tips. Um, one of the reasons why I want to do this is because I noticed that there's not really a lot of resources, real resources for parents to share ideas and, and get all this good information. You know, for me, man, I had my first son when I was 21 years old. And I, I didn't know anything about being a parent. I, I, all I knew was what I saw. And whether it was good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent, I only knew what I saw because I got four kids. After every one of my children were born, the doctor handed me a baby, not a man. So there's no manual for this thing. There's, there's no right or wrong for this thing. But if we share things and we try different things, I think we'll be all right. You know, one of the things I need for us to understand is Parenting is a process. I'm, I'm, I got to say that one again. Parenting is a process. And process in every area of life comes before success. You know, for me, with all of my children, it's a process. You know, I handle my 25-year-old different than I handle my 22-year-old. I handle my 22-year-old different than I handle my 19-year-old. And I handle my 19-year-old different than I handle my 11-year-old. Not for any other reason except their different personalities, and I have to deal with each of them differently. So what I have to do is I got to go through this process of learning, of growing, of understanding, you know, of getting through some, some different ideas, some ups, some downs some rights, some wrongs, some trials and tribulations and things like that. So uh, one of the things that we do is, you know, as you go through this process, one of the key things that we got to do as parents is become patient. Yeah. You got to be patient in the process. I heard Les Brown tell a story uh, a while ago, and it, it was about this Chinese bamboo tree that they grow in Southeast Asia. So it's, 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 it starts off as a little seed and you put the seed in the ground. And every day, every day, for four years, you have to water this seed. Every day, this seed has to be watered. For four years, every day. If you miss a day, if you skip a day, you have to start the process all over again. In the fifth year that you water in the seed, in the fifth year, it cracks the surface of the soil. It cracks the surface of the ground after watering it every day. Six weeks after it cracks the surface, it grows 90 feet high. So when I'm out, I always ask the question, how long did it take for that tree to grow 90 feet high? Most people say it took six weeks. A lot of people say it took five years and six weeks. And the answer is five years and six weeks. It's about the process. It's process. It was growing, but it wasn't growing up. It had to grow down before it came up. It was developing a foundation so that when the winds blow on this 90 feet high bamboo tree, it has the, the foundation, the strength, the girth to actually stand through the storm. And it's the same thing with us as parents. We got to go deep. We got to develop that root so that when the winds come and the storms blow, you know, when the, when the kids is getting in trouble, you know, when they're in school and they're not doing their schoolwork, if they experiment with drugs or sex or whatever, those are the storms that we got to go through. And it's only the foundation that's going to keep us strong and be patient and so that we can learn and grow. So you got to be patient in the process and develop your foundation. We were all born with strong backs to carry the burdens that life is going to bring our way. But over a period of time, and with addictions like drinking, smoking, laziness, too much sex. Yeah, I said it. Too much sex, laziness, procrastination. All of these different addictions has helped to make our backs weak. And we have not been able to carry the burdens that life has put on us. So it's only when we start to live right. We start to do some things a little different. You got to eat right. You got to walk right. You got to talk right. You got to live right. You got to get rid of the addictions and get your back strong. And then when you get your back strong, when the burdens that come with our children as parents, when the burdens that come from life, 
when they come on us, we can carry them and not just our burdens. We can help people to carry their burdens. This is Kendall. Thank you for watching. I so appreciate it. Be great. Be strong. Parents, I'll talk to you next week.